Hi, I'm Dave with One Adventure at a Time. I'll be changing the oil today on our Ram Promaster. I'll show you what tools you need to do the job and a few tips along the way. So let's get started. These are all the tools you're gonna need to get the job done. An oil filter, six quarts of 5W20 oil, an oil pan, a funnel, a 24 millimeter socket, if it's short like this, it'll be perfect. If it's a deep socket, you might have troubles. A size 15 16 socket is about the same size and will work. A 13 millimeter socket and a pair of gloves. Safety first. We're gonna put the car in park, pull the emergency brake, make sure the tire is blocked off where it can't roll and pop the hood open. This is the 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. And as we look inside, we can see the oil fill is right here. And it says 5W20 right on it, so we know what weight oil to use. Right here is the dipstick. We can check the oil level. And way down in here is the cap for the oil filter. And that's where we're gonna use that 24 millimeter socket. And as you can see, there's not much room, so we don't want a deep socket. We're gonna Step number one, we're gonna start off by just loosening the oil fill, turning it counterclockwise, putting it back in there, just so that air is able to get in there and help us get the oil out more efficiently. The oil pan itself is on the passenger side. And if you get to about the middle of the tire, it's gonna be on the other side of that. And the plug itself is going to be facing the rear of the vehicle and it's a tight fit, but we can still climb under there and get a closer look. We're gonna grab our 13 millimeter socket wrench and our oil pan and climb underneath and get all situated. Now I found the best part to get underneath the vehicle to get the pan there is to crawl under right here behind the tire. But to make it better for the video so you can see what's going on, I'm gonna climb through underneath the front where there's a lot less clearance, but we'll have the camera back here for you. This is the oil pan right here, and you can see the oil pan plug, and that's your 13 millimeter socket. As you can see, there's not a lot of room in between the plug and the ground, and that oil pan is gonna take up a lot of that room, so there won't be enough room to get my hand up there at the same time. So I'm going to have to remove the plug and quickly move the oil pan underneath. So it's a good idea if you're not gonna have your vehicle raised up and you have to do this like I am, that you have a drop cloth to catch some of that oil. Is it, uh. <laughs> we almost had an overflow. While the oil is draining, we went ahead and put a couple paper towels on the engine where we can put the dirty oil filter on top without making a big mess. So we're gonna pull that oil filter out and put the new one in you're going to need the 24 millimeter socket. And this is a tight fit. So to do this, we're gonna to have to lift up on the tubing that goes to the air filter just to get that on top and take it off.
Okay, this old oil filter is stuck in the cap like it should be, but we're gonna remove it just by giving it a little shake and a tug. And it comes right out of there. And then if you look at the cap, there's an O-ring. This is the old O-ring. It's a little rubber O-ring or a big O-ring that goes all the way around. We're gonna remove this and put the brand new one that came with the filter on. If you leave these on, they can get brittle and actually break and then you won't have a seal. So it's an absolute must that you replace that. I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver and work it off. And this will take a few minutes. Need to be semi-patient to get it off. And then we'll go ahead and put the brand new one back on. And you can see it, it's a whole different color. Once we get it on, we're just gonna roll it down into place. And there's a little lip that sets up and it should be there all the way around about the same level. And we make sure we coat that just with a little bit of oil so it seals when it sets back in there. So I've already got oil on my thumb and that will be good enough. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab the new filter and if you can see inside the cap there, that's what the new filter is gonna set on. I'm gonna place it right on that and give it a push. And it makes a little satisfying snap and you know it's in place and it's not gonna fall out. And then that, it's ready to put back in there. Okay, so this top is plastic, so we don't wanna over tighten it. And the shorter wrench you can use in here, the bigger turns you can get. So if you've got a long wrench like I do, you're gonna have to have some patience and make quite a few turns to get this tight. And you may have to lift up on the hose a little bit as well. Once you got the oil filter cap back on, it's time to climb back underneath and put in your drain plug. Now that we've got the oil plug in, it's time to add the oil. Now the operator manual says that it takes six quarts. So what we're going to do is add five quarts, start up the engine, let it circulate for about a minute or two, and then slowly add that last quart. We may not even use that full last quart. We'll be checking the dipstick to make sure it's right in between the minimum and the max level. So what you want, you want the oil to read right in the middle of this notched in area. And as you can see right now, the oil is just barely hitting the end. So we are going to go ahead and add a half a quart and then try again. So we added a total of five and three quarters quarts of oil. And we're going to check it one last time. And that looks about perfect. Just about, it's just a slightly over halfway. Our last and final set, we're going to reset the oil change required alarm. To do this, we're gonna turn the key to the very first position. We're not gonna start the motor. And then we're going, going to press down on the gas pedal three times within 10 seconds. And then we're gonna turn the key off. The next time we turn the key on, the alarm should be gone. We have spent as much as $95 on oil changes on the road. Today, we spent $40 and it took about 30 minutes. So the job itself is fairly easy. It does require just a little bit of patience when it comes to getting the oil filter cap off. It's very tight location. Our vehicle is still under warranty, so we use the recommended oil. Fellow YouTuber and patron, Stan the Van, has an amazing story to tell about his engine replacement. 
and wait till you hear what his mechanic said about five weight oil. Carrie will link that video here. Please, if you have time, uh, subscribe to his channel, give him a thumbs up and hear what he has to say. If you enjoyed our video here today, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and we'll catch you next video. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.